Peace, this is DJ Roller Extraordinaire, welcoming you back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you a little bit about my home studio. Let's do this. Okay, peeps, so first we're gonna start off with the Akai Professional MPK Mini MIDI controller. And what I love about this thing here is that it's very compatible with uh, any DAW that you use, Ableton, Reason, Logic, uh, Pro Tools, and a host of others. Um, a lot of controlling here can be used to modify your sound, your samples, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You got your pad functions happening here. Really, really, really good piece of equipment. Um, I love it, definitely. Okay, right here we have the MPC Touch made by Akai also. And um, what can I say? A lot of people out there are very familiar with this machine. At first I had a love-hate relationship with it. I didn't know how to use it. There are so many ways this thing can be used. Again, I used to have a love-hate relationship with it. Guess what? <laughs> definitely, definitely. So good, so good. Very, very good, useful tool for making your own original samples, um, your own music, your own beats. Just It just gives you so much creative freedom. You guys have no idea. Get your hands on it if you can. Okay, and so right here we have the Pioneer DDJ SV3. I really love this unit. I, I use it for my radio shows. Uh, packed with a lot of features. You got your dual discs here, just like a CDJ. Your mixer controls here, lows, mids, highs, gain, all of that stuff. Plus pads and effects, cross faders. Great functionality with the buttons. It's fantastic, fantastic. It's USB powered. I love that. No AC adapter needed. You just plug it in to your laptop and it works. Um, it's also accompanied with Serato software and y'all already know about Serato. If y'all don't know about Serato, you need to get on it. I'm sure there are other uh, DJ softwares that are available that you, you may fancy more, but um, I'm good with Serato. Okay, so right here we have uh, my MacBook Pro and I have my Windows machine as well. I can't stress this enough, guys. Before buying any piece of gear, you must make sure that your operating system, both on your Mac or Windows, whichever one you're using, is compatible with every piece of gear that you buy. Save yourself the headache, otherwise you're gonna have many problems. Uh, drivers, driver issues, it, the, the list is endless. Please make sure your operating system on your Windows computer or your Mac is compatible with any piece of gear that you are using. Again, I can't stress that enough. Okay, so right here we have the Focusrite Scarlet Solo. And um, this is what I first picked up. This was my very first interface. Um, I use it for my radio show as well as, you know, some, some recording gigs here and there. It gets the job done, definitely. Don't uh, let the size fool you as far as performance. Very, very good. Um, I love it also because it's portable, you know, so you could just like pick it up, pack it up and go. Love that, love that. But um, it was limited in features as far as what I wanted to do as far as other projects. So I later upgraded to the Focusrite Scarlett 18i8 and um, a lot more inputs and outputs. You also have two audio jacks. So while recording both you and your artist, whether it be your vocalist or guitarist or whatever, they both hear that signal. So there's no confusion as far as, oh, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. If they wanna be turned up, you can do so right here with these knobs. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, this baby right here, I don't know if you can quite see it, it is the Zoom R16 recorder interface controller. 
This baby I love so much for many reasons. Technically now I have three interfaces, which is great. Um, one thing I love is options. My motto is if one way doesn't work, there's always another way, definitely. This speaker right here is also portable, works with a USB card, it's standalone, um, as well as you plug it in uh, to your computer. It comes with uh, Cubase DAW, and um, it's a controller as well. Very, very powerful piece of machinery. I love it. You can't go wrong, you can't go wrong, and, and you can't go wrong for the price either. Okay, so next we are moving on to my monitors. We have the Alesis Elevate 5, and then we have the KRK 5s Classics, and the Behringer MS-16s. Now, here's the thing. I first started off with these babies right here. Um, they, they were pretty good, you know, for, for the time. And people were like, like, oh, they're just crappy monitors, blah, 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 whatever. And I never understood why they meant crappy. But we'll, we'll get back to that. Um, I don't consider them crappy. Um, I use them for a certain reason, but like I said, we'll get back to that. This is what I started with, I have to say. After this, I upgraded to the Alesis 5s, okay? They were really good. Really bassy, nice, nice, clean, bassy cut sound. If you're hip hop and dance oriented like myself, these are really good. But I wanted something more, you know? Um, I've always wanted a pair of these babies, the BKRKs classics um the reason why i got them is because i found a deal online and um very very uh very suitable for my budget and why not yolo you only live once you feel me true story they really pack a punch definitely really really good especially for so, uh, small studios here's the thing getting back to these babies right here i like to run my final mix through either of these you know, because each pair of monitors have their own frequency, their own their own level of sound. If they sound good here, okay, great. But my last check is either through my headphones or these babies here. If I'm not satisfied with what I'm hearing through these babies, then I do the mix over. Because these babies reveal if it's too much bass, too much highs, too much mids, too much of anything. These guys will reveal it. Definitely, that's for sure. And this is why I do not consider, you know, as people say, oh, they're crappy monitors, whatever, whatever. They're only made for video gamers and, and listening, you know, to, to, you know, your regular music. But key word, key word, listening. You gotta listen to your mix, your final mix. And again, they reveal, along with these controllers here at the bottom, these control knobs at the bottom, they're gonna reveal to you the final mix as to whether or not if it's good. Okay, so right here I have the Falcon UC-01 condenser microphone. Very inexpensive, I paid like 70 bucks for it. Um, I only suggest that you purchase high-end microphones if you can afford it. Me, I cannot. I mean, I can, but I'd just rather not. I feel if you know what you're doing, if you're already a seasoned engineer, sound designer or whatever, you pretty much know, you know, if you have a trained ear as far as what's going to sound good, you know, along with equalization and mastering and stuff like that, you can really get a good mix from uh, such an inexpensive microphone. Again, it's like 70 bucks I paid for. Um, really, really, really good. Um, you get your pop filters as well to um, eliminate the, the hard syllables of, of your of your lettering as far as the letter P, the letter B, the letter S, you know, you don't want too much of those sounds going into your your, uh, your mix, definitely, from the, whether it be from the vocalist or for yourself. Um, I particularly love this one for my radio show. Um, I can use it for vocals, I'm sure, but I, I just prefer this uh, for my radio show. Definitely. Okay, so this mic right here I use for my vocalist specifically. Um, I can't show you at this point which mic I do have inside this baby right here, which I highly recommend. If you don't have a booth, um, this baby works wonders as far as um, guarding outside noise uh, to the vocalist, to, to your sound, I should say, while, while you're recording. Really, really good stuff right here. Um, I got it on eBay and um, for a really good deal. Really, really, really worth the money, definitely. Not expensive at all. 
And last but not least, I have to say, you are going to need these babies right here. These are external hard drives. You're gonna be doing a lot of work. You're gonna be doing a lot of recording. Um, you're gonna need the space for both your video and your audio. You're, you're gonna to wanna to save everything that your computer cannot, simply because you need more space. I love both. Uh, this is a Seagate, one terabyte. This is a Lacey, one terabyte. I love this one the most because of the rubbery guard here. So if it does fall for whatever reason, you know, it's protected. Two words, words. This baby right here, even though it's not protected, you gotta be extra careful. Again, I love both brands, but if I had a choice, I'd purchase this baby again simply because of the protection. Definitely. And so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I gave you a little tour of my uh, studio and some of the tools that I use. And um, I thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, share, and also hit the notification button. Also keep in mind that I have a weekly radio show on heatfmradio.com, uh, 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern, 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tune in every Thursday night. It's going to be a great show, hosted by yours truly, programmed by yours truly, guaranteed a great time, definitely. Bye.